Hello, everybody. Let's see who's in the chat room. I see some Dwalin dude. I see Emily, Smaug the dragon. Is everybody in there? Can you see me? Hello, Dwalin. No one will be admitted during the breathtaking texting scene. Who else is here? A wild Justin has appeared. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's Torn Tuesday, your weekly uh, video cast, podcast, vidcast, YouTube cast on Ustream. Uh, we give you the latest news on all the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings goings on every week, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Live from Hollywood, we're here at Meltdown Comics. Uh, in the heart of Hollywood, 10,000 square foot comic book store, like legit. We we just Meltdown has a, a show on TV on Comedy Central that just it just got announced that it's been renewed for a second season. The Meltdown show on Comedy Central just got renewed for a second season. That was just announced today. Today, it's crazy. So we're not the only ones that do video here. Uh, you know, there's the Nerdist podcast room is right across that door way over there and downstairs we've got the nerd melt theater where like uh a bunch of comedians do their thing every night of the week seven nights a week so if you're coming to one last party this week in hollywood if you're traveling from afar please try to make it to meltdown comics not only the comic book store but every night they have comedy shows so there's comics of the funny kind in comics bookstore so, I see people in the chat room, Tolkien girl, I stole the one ring, good to see everybody. This is a big weekend, Cliff hopefully will be joining me soon, um, but it is a big week because it is Oscar week, and today is the final voting day. This is the last chance, if you're a member of the Academy, if you're a voting member, they get to actually vote on the Oscars which some of our viewers actually are, which is crazy. Um, today is the last day to get your ballot in, and we have been campaigning for weeks now. Hashtag one last Oscar for The Hobbit. One last Oscar for Tolkien. One last Oscar for The Journey to Middle-Earth. The Hobbit is nominated for sound editing. It's nominated for one award. It is for sound editing. So please consider voting changing your vote if you can today's the last day to vote for oscars and give the hobbit one oscar out of the entire three billion dollar trilogy please give it one oscar and give it in sound editing that's the only chance we have it's the last chance we have at an oscar for the hobbit Re reward this this wonderful journey that all of all of you have enjoyed and we've enjoyed so hashtag one last Oscar. I can't take credit for hashtag one last Oscar. Someone in the chat room uh, actually uh, came up with one last Oscar hashtag. So please, this is the final day for voting. We find out on Sunday whether The Hobbit actually will win the Oscar. It's going to be uh, exciting. I hope sound editing, it's up against, we talked about this last week, but it's up against Birdman and Interstellar. Uh, and a couple others, but I think the two, the two main com competition things are Interstellar and Birdman. Uh, Interstellar, the mix was just so horrible. Hobbit could have a good chance of winning an Oscar. This would be the first Oscar for any of the Hobbit films, and uh, and I hope I hope it uh, I hope it gets there. Tolkien girls waving to the real Bombadil. Um, one last everything makes me sad. Yes, it does too. Here, Sarah. Um, there's another one last, one last party. One last party. We have on this Saturday night, one last party. It's our final hurrah, made possible by you guys. We put this on Indiegogo, and we were like, you know, the Hobbit's not nom not really nominated for many awards. At the time, it wasn't nominated. For the Oscar nominations hadn't come out, so. We didn't even know if The Hobbit was going to get nominated. So we just put it up on Indiegogo and said, you know, let's let's see if people want to, like, throw a Hobbit party. 
And you guys are amazing. $219,000 on Indiegogo. It's crazy. In fact, Hollywood is buzzing about this party. I was just at uh, I was just at dinner with some friends at, at ABC Network, who, uh, of course, aired The Quest. And Hollywood is buzzing. It's the one last party. Our, your one last party is on every top ten list for hot Oscar parties to be at. Elton John, Wolfgang Puck, Vanity Fair, um, the Weinstein Company. All of these, all of these companies are having parties all weekend long, starting today. With it's a week week of parties, and the one last party is on everybody's hot list. So it's crazy. The buzz is happening, and we're not even trying to get buzz. So people in Hollywood, we don't know who's going to show up. We really don't. I mean, if you've been to our other parties, we threw a pre-party in Wellington before an unexpected journey. If you guys were down in New Zealand for the premiere of an unexpected journey, you remember that the night before the premiere, uh, uh, the One Ring hosted a party. And if you remember, Jed Brophy, Elijah Wood, and Peter Jackson all showed up to that. Uh, we don't know who's going to show up to this. They won't tell us, you know... Everyone has open invites, of course. If you were, if, if you're on the poster, you can get in for sure. Um, so we don't even know if Peter Jackson's in town. We don't know if Richard Taylor's in town. Um, we know that the Oscar-nominated VFX supervisor Joe Letteri is in town because uh, he's nominated both for The Hobbit and for, or no. Is he nominated for that? He's all nominated for Planet of the Apes. Um, so, we don't know who's going to show up. So, it's going to be exciting. How do you vote for the Oscars? You have to be an Academy member, um, which is its own little uh, ordeal. You have to have three credits in a, in a major motion picture or television show that is actually has major distribution. You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a big deal. Um, the Hobbit could have been perfect and made ten billion dollars. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the, the, there was an interesting article that, uh, that I think Forbes posted, and the Hollywood Reporter caught on, and we posted it earlier the, last week. The Hobbit trilogy is a three billion dollar blockbuster that nobody in Hollywood or the press cared about. If if any other movie, if Harry Potter, if Twilight, if even Star Wars, if any other movie was making a billion dollars a film, it would be like trumpeted Transformers, you know, all of these big movies. And The Hobbit does it three times in a row. Whether you like the movie or not, or are a Tolkien fundamentalist or not, uh, the Hobbit trilogy was good enough to get a billion almost a billion dollars per movie and nobody cares and it's kind of the it, it, it's this weird thing um, that the excitement is there the movies are well made and uh, and it gets no respect he gets no respect so th I thought if we use this week's show we'll probably cut it sh we'll probably make it a short show maybe an hour long instead of our normal 90 minutes um but we'll 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 take questions uh about one last party if you're coming if you're gonna watch online we're gonna be live streaming all six hours uh if you've got questions text us the phone number below uh five three zero six four frodo four four 64 Frodo 530 64 Frodo is our phone number. It really is our phone number. And I'm going to turn on Skype. So if you've got Skype, our name is Barlamin Butterbur. Uh, it's at the One Ring Net. Uh, that's our Skype. And uh, you can text me 530 64 Frodo. Text me. I'll get the text message and I can answer right here. Um, Tolkien Girl says, Poke, I need to ask you something. Look at the chat. So, ask away. We're answering all your questions about one last party. What do you need to know? Are you coming? Are you watching? What do you want to know? I'm here to answer your questions. 
We've done this. We've done a party for almost every Middle Earth film. And if you remember the last, uh, the Return of the King party and the Unexpected Journey party, um, it's at the same venue. So huge. It's going to be huge. This is going to be bigger. The amount of tickets we sold is actually more than Return of the King. So this place is going to be packed. 500 plus attendees. I, it's, it, I, I'm like... I'm flabbergasted. Is it too late to donate money so your name can get on the thank you card? That is a very good question. I don't have the answer for that, but I know someone who does. I'm going to text them right now, and I'll try to get the thing. Try to get the answer. It's a good question. Uh, text message. Is there a website where the live cast will be available? TheOneRing.net slash live. Right here at the same website that you see up on your bar, the onering.net slash live. We're, we will be streaming. We're going to redo this whole page. Get ready. It's going to look totally different. So it'll just be like a big uh, high definition picture. If you want to join the chat, it'll be on YouTube. We've, uh, I'm actually going to YouTube headquarters on Thursday to finalize some deals. You know, Maybe we can do some cool stuff. But this is crazy. If it all comes together, we're planning on having two channels, two streams from the party. You're going to be able to choose channel one, which will be the main stage where the California Dreamers are performing, Emerald Rose. Uh, we've got some special thank yous from the director of Ringers, Lord of the Fans, uh, and everything else. Channel two is going to be also live all the same time it's going to be hosted by the happy hobbits and the hillywood show hillywood show are coming from from uh from afar it's going to be so amazing so two channels you're you're going to have so much to watch if you don't like what's going on on stage you can jump on over to the hillywood show you, they might be doing some some fan trivia we might even give away some prizes who knows uh so the one ring.net slash live will also be on youtube uh, find our channel on YouTube, either Hillywood Show, they have 750,000 subscribers or something. Uh, the One Ring has 12,000 subscribers, so look for our channels on YouTube, subscribe to it, and you'll be notified. Um, will Cliff be on today, and will the main moderator of Barlamans, uh, Demosthenes, be a guest since he's stateside for the party? Uh, Cliff will hopefully be on today. Um, you know Cliff, he never arrives on time. Demosthenes, who runs, who is our main editor. In fact, most of the articles nowadays, like he, he, he's our news. He runs the newsroom at the One Ring.net. Demosthenes, he also runs uh, Barlamin's chat. He, he is stateside. He will be here at the One Ring.net. One last party. We're gonna drag him in front of the camera, and we're gonna put him on the chat room. It won't be Barlamin's. It'll be the YouTube chat. We haven't figured out how to work in Barlamin's, so uh, you'll you'll be able to see the owner, the moderator, Demosthenes, in person doing his own moderation. It's going to be good on YouTube. Will you be wearing your hat on the night, Justin? You know, I haven't decided. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to wear. What do you guys think? So, the, the it's a strict dress code. Black tie or cosplay. So I either have to dust off the old tux or I have to put on the chain mail and, and do a whole thing. You know, I could shave this into something that looks more like Bofur and uh, put, put, get the Bofur fat hat on. I was, I, was, I, was, I was planning on, you know, trimming and just cl cleaning myself up and just going in a nice tux uh, with a tie and everything like that. That's what I did last time. Um, but I'm looking over there at the Bofer hat that Bofer's wife knitted for me. Um, uh, I have to look at a picture of Bofer. Because doesn't he have a handlebar with a little bit of a thing? Like it, 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 sh should I shave this into a ha That's not stylish. I don't know if I'll be able to pull off a Bofer. Because if I, do, if I do the handlebar and the hat, like I have to go all in. Uh with with a heavy costume i don't have a full bofer costume i don't know what to do i've got i've got this bilbo costume i can find a green vest i've got a bilbo jacket like i'm i'm, I'm almost there uh so the question so that's 
that's uh I'm going through the chat room. Talk to the cosplayers. If you if you go to our Twitter, uh, you'll notice that we posted a, uh, a survey. In fact, let's uh, let's just post it again, shall we? Um, can I can I post it? My surveys, my custom survey, uh, email and share. Let's let's reshare this Twitter. Um, from the wondering account with uh, love your feedback what do you want to see at one last party live stream post all right so I just posted on Twitter a uh, a little survey see what you guys actually want to see Spirited books. All right, this chat is going fast and furious. I don't know how I'm going to manage the chat at the party because, you know, we're going to have thousands more people. Uh, you know, some of our regulars here. Um, can someone... I need some moderators for the YouTube chat. I need some moderators for Saturday night. Now, if you look at the times, we're live at 5.30 to midnight Pacific. So that's 8.30 p.m to 3 a.m. Uh, East Coast time and of course everything everything ships from there so I need moderators for the YouTube chat because you know how it get kinda crazy and and none of us our own moderator Demosthenes will be at the party drinking and having a good time so who's who is gonna be watching um, please uh, email me justin at the one ring dot net uh, or tweet at me Justin's big idea um, and let me know if you'd be interested in moderate, helping to be a moderator on our YouTube channel for the chat room during the live stream, because um, it's going to be it's going to be crazy with with two channels. We got a lot of people saying I'll be at the party. Sorry. Let's see, Tolkien girl, you'll do it. All right, email me Justin at the One Ring .net. I stole the One Ring. Uh, I could help mod. Great. Email me, Justin at the one ring dot net. Uh, Justin can go as Feely or Keely. They don't have much beard either. This is this is six months of beard. Like I'm totally not a dwarf. Like the only thing I could do is bow her. Uh, oh, you know what? Or you could text me on the hotline five three zero six four Frodo, um, if you want to be a moderator. Uh, thank you. This is great. Oh my gosh. How much does the 11 Oscars for Return of the King hurt both, both, uh, I, they're different movies. I don't, I don't think it hurts or helps. I think uh, The Hobbit has a good chance of winning this sound editing award. Um, can you send me a text when you drag him in front of the stream? Uh, it's going to be crazy at the party. I can't, I, I can't even guarantee if he'll want to go in front of camera. We're just going to have to sneak up on him. Um, it's going to be a late night. I'm going back through the chat. Hold on. Uh, did you get my video? Which video? It, uh, are you talking about the video that uh, on uh, on uh, uh, Dropbox? Uh, if uh, I haven't looked at our Dropbox yet. That's the other thing. Again, we have two channels streaming. We have the main stage channel and we have the Hollywood channel cam and possibly other surprises um but of course it's six hours each so we're gonna have a lot of time to show other stuff so if you tweet or instagram if you instagram or tweet pictures hashtag it one last party we'll be able to pull some of those photos and 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 show them on the live stream so if you've got pictures from any of our events over the last 15 years uh, Torn has been around for 15 years. This is a 15th anniversary celebration. Uh, please uh, share them. Any of our events, any of our conventions. Let, let's take a trip back memory lane. Will, the, will there be plenty of mirrors? I'm just learning how to tie a bow tie. No, there won't be a lot of mirrors, but there will be a lot of people willing to help you out. We're all part of the same fellowship. 
Jeffrey Lindsay is watching this from behind my sewing machine getting ready for the party. I've seen some Instagrams of some makeup tests uh, for one last party. It's going to be crazy. It, uh, there's going to be some epic, epic cosplays at this party. It's going to be nuts. Um, let's see. Who? Uh, let's see. You said uh, you want you had a video. Oh, uh, that's right. Um, so we'll all loop in with uh, the party organizers about getting that video. If we can't show it on stage, uh, I'm pretty sure we can show it on the live stream. And you'll probably you'll more people will probably see it on the live stream. Let's that's be honest. True. There's only 500 people at the event. There will probably be, you know, if 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 we're lucky, you know, a lot more yes. than that. Oh gosh. Yes. How will moderation work? I don't know. I've never hi I've never uh, put moderators on our YouTube channel, so we're we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, oh, it's a brave new world. It's a brave new world, and I don't know how it works if it's one chat room for both channels, uh, or or not. Do you guys realize that was an Aldous Huxley reference? Brave New World. Who's yes. That? Who's that? The writer, the writer of the book Brave New World. I don't know. Oh gosh, come on. Didn't you ever read that in high school? Question on the chat room. Again, we're taking questions, everything you need to know about One Last Party. If you've got any questions about uh, a costume or where or times, uh, please let us know. How many people are expected to show up? Uh, we've sold about 400 tickets plus uh, 100 or 150 uh, VIPs um, and, and special mm -hmm. guests. Uh, who knows might show up. When I say VIPs, a lot of our sponsors are special people that donated at the higher levels uh, during the Indiegogo campaign, of course, they got tickets. Uh, they so, did. so Warner Warner Brothers is sending a few of their uh, people. It's going to be good. Justin, I'm coming uh, as Bofer too. Not, not, need, no need to be perfect. I saw dress code. Uh, if you're going to be at the party, you're not going to be paying attention to the chat. I trust me. There's so much going on oh, yes that's true you're you, seriously the people there you're going to be busy for six hours trust me trust me trust me trust me um let's see no idea who that is or what it is what is what who or what's your streamer asking about um <laughs> brave new world for people who are attending the party can they view a copy of the live stream later yes the current plan is if uh, uh, that w since we're streaming on YouTube, it'll once we hit stop at the end of the night, it should be just available on YouTube to watch. Um, so we're just going to keep it up. Uh, so yes, the short answer is yes. Uh, people yes. should be able to watch again. Uh, YouTube is is beta testing this new multicam feature, so we don't know if both channels will be available or just one channel. Oh, so um, we're kind of guinea pigs. We're guinea pigs. Where are the guinea pigs? And it won't be the first time that we're using new razor, razor cutting edge technology That's for, how we've a always done. for a streaming event. We've done it many, many times before. Even when we were driving across the country. Driving, especially then, driving across country with unknown technology capabilities, and we tested it out and it worked rather well. So I think we'll do rather well. Got a question from Emily. Uh, I'm trying to work out what time the party is in the UK. If you check out uh, our Facebook, and our Twitter, I just posted an image that shows the times. It starts at 1.30 a.m. Uh, London time, 2.30 p.m. Uh, Wellington time, 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so that that is, I think, what is going to be. So it's going to go, and we're going to go six hours. You know, um, wouldn't it be great if some of uh, some of the actors who we know are working in London that can't make it to Hollywood this weekend? Wouldn't it be great if they woke up Sunday morning at 7 a.m. and maybe Skyped in to the party? Gosh, that would be great. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Because it would be about 7 a.m., 11 p.m., 7 a.m.? Yes, it will be at about that time. By the time we finish our revelry, our Londoners will just be getting up for their early cup of joe. That, early cup of coffee. That would be real. Maybe we should try to reach out and and and, and we see already if have reached out to Andy Circus. Ooh, and to Sir Ian McKellen. Isn't isn't, Ian, isn't Andy in town because Planet of the Apes is nominated for an Oscar? That's true. Multiple Oscars. Yeah, that's true. More but than The Hobbit. The thing is, uh, yeah, that and uh, perhaps some would say deservedly so. Um, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. 
Yes. Was and still remains one of the best films of the year. A, su- a surprise. It is. Just a surprise film that is very powerful, very effective. All about Andy. It's all about Andy. Will he be in town? Is he in town right now? I th- I, w- I think he would be. He's such a A-lister and Planet of the Apes is a... You know, we got another question. Please explain costumes. Um, sorry, never did this. Uh, thank ex- you. Hello, everybody. So so the the question is, what is the attire? It's black tie or, or pointy, pointy ears. ears. And we've, we've, we've narrowed that down to it's black tie. Tux, your finest dresses, what you would wear to a wedding, or if you were going to the Oscars yourself. What that's would you the wear ca- to the Oscars? Formal wear. Formal, Formal wear. wear. Or? Or... Cosplay, like, cosplay. like, like, and not and, and, as best as you can do. Like, if you were entering a costume contest at your local Comic Con, mm-hmm. like that, it, it, you can't just show up in this, you know, red jacket and, and this knitted hat and say, "Let me in." This would not get into the party. That black collared shirt would not get into the party. Nope. Uh, you have to have suit, tie, jacket. Suit, tie, jacket. Here's a good example for anybody who knows the Magic Castle, or has been to a club, a private club, where they require a dress code, such as Hollywood's world-famous The Magic Castle. This is a dress code where women wear cocktail dresses or gowns, evening gowns. And when you're in the cosplay area, and you're dressed up as Arwen in her mint green coronation outfit, you're covered. That's fine. Right? Right. But if you just tried to wear regular you know, muggle clothing, dressing like the muggles do. You cannot do anything outside of cosplay unless it's real formal attire. Black tie and pointy ears usually means rent yourself a tuxedo or work for months and months and months ahead of time on your exceptional Radagast costume or your buffer costume as it may be. Yeah, you know, I've got. I, I was thinking of shaving into a, a handlebar mustache and doing the bow for hat, but then I need the whole outfit, and I don't have the outfit. And you know, as strict as our, you, you know how it is. Like you have to be full on cosplay or or tux. Like it, you can't. Yeah. I won't be able to half ass it. So I don't. I don't know if I'll be able to do bofer. Like I just. I don't have. I don't have bofer's costume. You'll have to do it full on. I, I don't have his costume, and, and we're five short days away. The tuxedo shop is right next door to Meltdown. So if, do if I do both and tuxedo? A tuxedo? I'd love that. Do the hat and the, and the tuxedo. If you have arrived in L.A. and you do not know where to go to get your tuxedo and you're here already in your hotel, go to Meltdown Comics, and right next door is Mike's. Mike's Tuxedo. Yes. They were the very first tuxedo shop to get tuxedos for the four founders. For Zoannan... Kalasuri and Korvar. How about that? Tahanu. Uh, Tahanu did not wear a tuxedo. Of course she didn't. Though she could have pulled it off beautifully if she decided to do the, the whole man drag. I think you some know. of the founders are reuniting here at the party. I hope they are. Party. But Mike's, Mike's tuxedo is a famous establishment to our Oscar parties because I myself and all of the founders of the One Ring.net and everybody involved has gotten all of their tuxedos for all of our Oscar parties. Right here from Mike's. You know tuxedos. what? You know. You know what? I'm They're just right here at Gar- Gardner and Sunset. Boulevard. You know, I'm just. I'm just thinking about this. Like 15 years ago, four fans, uh, the founders of the site, started this website. They spent the money to buy the domain and, and set up the servers and everything. And and you know, nowadays they're like full-time jobs and kids and families and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of opportunities to 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 say thank you and 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 do something kind of maybe we should maybe maybe we should try maybe we should get something for them i'd I love know. to that sounds like a great like idea. if if you're coming to the party on tuesday or on saturday um think about it zoanin kalasuri uh, Korvar and Tahanu. And Tahanu. Wouldn't yeah. it be great just to just to come up in the in, in the random hallway and just shake their hand and say, "I know who you are, and I just want to say thank you uh, for creating this site." I I think yeah. I I think small gestures like that could go a long way. I agree. Um, I agree. Yes. Now my gears are turning. Like, what are some stuff? Maybe I should create a T-shirt that says Founders Club. Oh, <laughs> an exclusive! Yeah, okay, an exclusive silk screen. Oh, now I'm thinking, thinking about it. think about that. The founder. Yeah, the, the there's a special VIP room for VIPs. Why don't we have a special broom closet under the staircase 
just for our founders. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> the cupboard under the stairs. I'm getting back to Potter references again. I don't know why. 53064 Frodo is our hotline. You can text us questions or, or give us a call on Skype at the One Ring Net. Um, uh, we, Who do we have here? We have, we have Emily. Hello, Emily. We have Tolkien Girl, Erovandi. We Did want to come to more Comic Cons. We absolutely do. The Ottawa Comic Con is happening when exactly? I don't know. When that is the Ottawa Comic Con that, happening? That, that, that'd, that'd be a good question. Um, uh, with a question from uh, the hotline, with all the hard work that's gone into this event, could you tell us the names of the people who initiated this party? The One Ring.net is a collective of fan volunteers. Nobody gets paid. In fact, the four owners are on the hook for all the server bills. Um, which are significant. Um, so mm. it, it, the Wandering, this whole thing has been put together mm -hmm. with just an amazing group of volunteers yes. that have, have devoted so much energy and time, um, not only to put all the logistics together, but even before that, like coming up with the idea and uh, kicking off the fundraiser and then uh, after Christmas, you know, kind of rejuvenating the fundraiser and really going for it. And it's crazy. Like, the, the, the party's happening because of you, the the fans and the viewers. Like, we, there's no way we, there's no way this would have happened without you. And, it, you know, it's just, you can't name any one or two people because we've all kind of come together mm -hmm. and helped promote it. If you notice, not a lot of the actors uh, tweeted about the fundraiser. You know, it this was all fan based, and everything we do yes, is indeed. fans. If you, we went to 14 conventions last year. Each of those conventions, we did a panel, and some of them a booth, and we had different staff members at each one. You know, there we have so many volunteers in all the pocket po corners of, of you know HobbitCon in Germany, and and all the stuff in 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 Australia. And then, uh, you know, Fantasy Con, Salt Lake, Denver, Toronto, yes. Dragon Con. Yes. Like, we've got volunteers everywhere, and it's just been wonderful to see everybody kind of rally together one last time and get this party going. There's so many people, like, stitching banners right now. They're stitching at their home. They got off work, and they're, they're, they're sewing banners together. That is just decoration for the party. I mean, it's just, this is a total team effort. It, it's absolutely it insane. The there's there's been some criticism, sometimes heard in other fan circles. Yes. There's been some criticism brought against the One Ring .net for its, uh, I guess this for lack of a better term, for its self-aggrandizing way of putting itself out there at the forefront of the community, and we have a phrase by the fans for the fans of Tolkien, and that has always been our lo our logo has always had that drop statement underneath it and it has been our tagline to speak in movie terms it has always been by the fans and for the fans the content on that website and everybody who works for it has just been volunteering behind the scenes for 15 years it's a bunch of fans who are realizing that they could contribute to a community that could become something bigger and and more whole than anything we could ever thought because all the fans who were immediately curious about Peter Jackson's information, back in 1999, everybody wanted to find a source of news and gossip and info. That's why we started back in 1999, when Daily Variety put out that, uh, begin that big announcement that New Line Cinema was going to do The Lord of the Rings. And then everyone just went, you know, ape shit crazy. Pardon my French, but everybody went crazy with enthusiasm. That's right. And a big mixture of feelings. Now, the, the comment that I've heard before... Instead of, <laughs> when, when people are critical of the OneRing.net for being too big for its britches, and this kind of happens sometimes when you are... A the, big fan site. When you're a big, big mega site, and you're a news hub, and you're a community message board, and you're an outlet of news, information, events, and community happenings, we're much bigger than we ever, ever thought we would be. But when someone says, buy torn for torn as if we're doing this party or doing these events for our own sake, for our own self-aggrandizing agenda, I take issue with that. And this is the first time I've ever spoken about it in front of anybody at any convention or certainly on our live program. That mischaracterization is certainly not true. Very, very, very unfortunate that anybody out there would feel that way about the good works that have been created by all of our volunteers. You want to know who's p who initiated this party? A bunch of excited fans who thought, 
Look at all the Oscars Fellowship of the Ring got. Mm -hmm. It was only because we didn't realize how good we got it. When we got Fellowship of the Ring, it was way better than we deserved, way better than we thought it was going to be, and we were so blown away by the Academy. In fact, it was half as well as we deserved. Yeah, I mean, seriously, half as well as we deserved. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) But that kind of excitement that started our whole string of orc events, Comic-Con events, and Oscar parties, that all came from our homegrown, organic enthusiasm that the world at large was about to embrace Professor Tolkien in the largest possible tableau, in the largest forum out there in popular culture, more than we ever thought it could be. This is my answer to anybody, anybody who has a criticism that Torn is too big for its britches, and yes. we're only doing this party for the sake of lifting our own profile. That's not true. It's very unfortunate, as I said, and I'm not going to stand for it. You by cannot, fans, you can't, you cannot, fans. You, it's by the fans, for the fans. Why? Because back in the 60s, when Lord of the Rings fandom was at its most hardcore, what were we doing to, you know, to energize our fandom? We were sitting in the garage with, a, you know, a, one of those smelly, purple, you know, ditto printers, running off ditto copies of fan-made newsletters. That's what we were doing. We were printing fan newsletters on 8.5 by 11 in our own garage and then sending them around to the Berkeley campus where all the kids who were too high to read Lord of the Rings anyways were soaking up all the stuff that was, ooh, Hobbit culture, mushrooms, and LSD. That's what was happening. Guess where we are now? Thanks to the glorious interwebs. Thank you, Al Gore, or whoever it was who invented this thing. There's no Google ads on our site. This is not a money-making venture. We've never made a dime off of anything. All of us have given out our lives, endless hours of our own volunteer time, which could have been used for other jobs that paid money. So instead, we're volunteering for the OneRing.net because we're fans. And we were excited that The Hobbit could even possibly get made after the boomtown success of Lord of the Rings and the 11 out of 11 wins. We were so surprised that Peter Jackson said to us at our Oscar party, let's not shut down the One Ring just yet, shall we? Ovation, a loud ovation, another storm of applause in the room. If you had been there at any of those previous events, you would understand that it's not for Torn by Torn. But it's by the fans, for the fans. And fans of everything Tolkien, not movies, not uh, books. Exactly, everything. But everything, games, everything. everything. The games, the musicals, the adaptations, the, the parodies, the funny bits. Everything that we love about Tolkien has now lifted itself to every strata of popular culture. Now, all these years later, after the success of that New Line Cinema trilogy, it's a horse of another color, but our stripes are still the same. Just a fan site, all volunteers, and the purpose, purpose of this party, I guarantee you, is to say something of our gratitude back to you guys who have supported our little website from the very beginning, at the same time saying a tip of the hat, thank you, to all the fine filmmakers and all of our Kiwi friends, a whole nation of people down there in, in New Zealand who put their best forward to make six lovely films that turned out to be a jolly good show. You put them all together six in a row, it's jolly good show. Well done to everybody. And this is our way of saying, well done. Or what, what do they say in New Zealand? Good on you, mate. Good on you. So, looking forward to Bruce Hopkins, one of my wonderfulest, wonderfulest... That was like an Andy Rooney moment. That was my Andy Rooney moment. I had it, but it's done. You know, we're but getting a lot, of, a lot of questions in the chat room. We are. Uh, but hey, Bruce Hopkins is going to be with us. He's the bestest of the oh, best. Oh, gambling. Great friend of mine. Every time I'm down in Auckland, I end up in... Bruce Hopkins' living room when he pulls out his guitar and he starts singing and he spends the whole evening making filk songs and parody songs and and joking around with his guitar. Then we have a glass of wine, we end up having a bottle of wine, and we talk and laugh. He's the bestest guy. Love gambling. I want to get up on stage with him and do the bit with Bernard Hill. You know, where is the horse and the rider? (laughs) And I want want to see if uh, our Bruce Hopkins remembers his dialogue. From way back then, from the Two Towers. You know who else will be there? So exciting. Sala Baker. Yes, the Dark Lord himself. And William Kircher. He is so cool. William Kircher and his lovely wife. Yes. They've put a band together. I mean, rockabilly, fun time, great show. The California Dreamers. Is that spelled with a Z? I don't don't remember. Yeah, California Dreamers, I think. But they're coming to perform along with Emerald Rose, who is a family 
member of the Torn family doing all of our performances at uh, the One Ring Celebration and every Dragon Con we've ever you done. You know, we're getting a lot of questions in the chat room. I'm seeing them about uh, the, 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 the cosplay rules. Now, let, let, let's just dive a little deeper here. The First off, uh, if you're... Uh, if you have a male costume, if if you have another gender costume, and but you can rock it, rock it. But it's got to be it, it. It can't just be a jacket and a t-shirt. Like if if you've got the full-on costume and if you want to wear it, go for it. Like we're, we're, you don't have to be sexy Sauron. Did you did you see that Sauron the female mm, the female Sauron? From did I see that? Did I, did I see that sexy <laughs> yeah, Sauron? You don't need. You don't need to be that. If you, Did I see if it? You're Boy, girl, howdy. If you're a girl with a guy's costume or a guy with a girl's costume, uh, you know, hey, dwar gen, dwarves look the same no matter what. They do. It, <laughs> it's the beards. It's the beards. Listen, <laughs> cross-dressing is always funny. Always. You can go way back in time to Marlena Dietrich doing her man drag. I love it. You can do where we are right now with RuPaul and her drag race, a very successful show. Anything that involves... Gender switching in in costume you or just dress have to is be funny. It just it's has funny. to be a great costume. I did it myself at the Return of the King party. You did, did. You know that? Yes. I dressed as Eowyn, but when I was dressed as Eowyn, I was dressing as her in her persona as Dernhelm, and I came out as Dernhelm. But then I pulled off my helmet and pulled off my wig and said, "I am no man." And the fact that I am a man was very funny to me. I'm telling you, cross-dressing is always but funny. But the costume funny, just has funny, to be funny, good. Funny. You can't, yes. the, the, the costume has to be good. It has good. to be very good. Now, how, now, many, now, how many guests are really going to get turned away at the door for not obeying dress code? I'm sure you, you guys are worried about that. Just no t-shirt. Like, don't like don't it, be worried about and, it. And, and, uh, all the way down. Sho the shoes, if you've got furry feet, uh, furry hobby feet, I that's okay. Um, but no tennis shoes. Uh, you know, uh, you just gotta, you know, this is black tie, and if you're not black tie, it, you gotta pretend that you're an elf going to a black tie event. Does that make sense? You know, you put on the armor, you know, you, 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 got, you gotta look, you gotta look the part. Yeah, so, yeah. So, if you've got, if you've got, uh, any questions, write an email to partyadmins at the one ring dot net. If you're hesitating at all, if you have any questions uh, and you think, I don't know if this will work, email partyadmins at the one ring dot net. That's plural, admins, P-A-R-T-Y-A-D-M-I-N-S, partyadmins at the one ring dot net. And they'll answer you really quick. You know, yes, our, our, our organizers, we've been inundated with emails over 500 emails just answered over the weekend, okay. just since Friday, that people have have been having these questions. And uh, so, please, we're, we're responding as fast as we can. Yes, um, we are. And it, it's so wonderful. Barry Humphreys, yes, thank you for texting us on the hotline. No one can ever forget that the great goblin the great himself goblin. was actually Dame Edna. Dame Edna, the great drag character that Barry Humphreys created all those many moons ago. Holy Toledo, guess what? Barry Humphreys is in Los Angeles. That's right. At the Amundsen, doing a we wonderful. Try to get he's him. doing the farewell performance, the the final, final performances of Dame Edna live on stage. We've got to talk to him or his people we and have find to out if he can out. come by the that, party. He would. I bet you he would love. What a to surprise! See. Yes. He'd have to do it after his show. He'll be late on stage all night long, but after his show is over, that's all right. Maybe he could leave downtown and come up and join us for a quick hello. I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna research this and see if we can get. Is a purple tie okay? Yes. Our great goblin. Yeah, colors are okay. It doesn't have to be black and white. It just has to be. I'm, I'm wearing uh, tux and 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 tie. I'm wearing a tie that is super super bright, uh, fuchsia. There's no other word to describe it. It's fuchsia, and it's super neon bright, and I love it. And I'm gonna probably wear it against this black shirt because it looks quite cool. Burgundy tie, purple tie. That's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, ha happy to do it. Um, uh, no weapons. Oh, we should make this clear. Thank you, no Pete. Pete, you're gonna look sharp. I know you no will. You'll metal, look very sharp. No metal. No metal. No weapons. No weapons. Uh, uh, wizard staffs are okay. Yep. But no weapons. No bows. No arrows. No swords. No stings. No plastic stings. No plastic stings. Uh, oh, really? I mean, if you sneak one in, I didn't tell you is this. That, is that? I, well, you know what? I, I take. I take, I take that back. I take that is back. Is that written information on the subsite about 
No I weapons. think so. I yeah. hope so. It better be. No, no, no weapons. Um, uh, but wizard staff's okay. Because surely you would and not deprive an old man of his walking and stick. And no using the one ring. His no walking stick. No threatening the powers of the one ring. Oh, what did you say not to bring? No selfie sticks. No selfie sticks. We just we we had a discussion uh, internally, and we're we're taking a stand, and we hope we're the first a party to take a stand. No selfie sticks. Leave them at home. We don't want them. Leave them in your car Ta or in your hotel if room. If you want to take a selfie, you ask someone to take your picture for you or hold your hand out, but make a new friend. Ask them, "Hey, can you take my picture?" This is We don't want any selfie sticks getting in the way and poking people in the eye, and it's all the more reason selfie And they and they ruin the pictures because you're trying to take a picture and what's in the shot? Endless stupid cell phones on selfie sticks, and yeah. your photograph no, is ruined. We're done because there's nothing in the foreground I'm taking, except cell I phones. Am I yeah, remember yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm championing in this. I fought hard for this. Good. No oh, I'm selfie you. sticks. I'm 100% behind you on that. Hello, Ellen Design. Now, if you have a wizard staff and you happen to put your phone at the end of the wizard staff, ah, uh, I would laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the ultimate. Gandalfs. Great. So only Gandalfs can uh, have selfie God. sticks. <laughs> That's the ultimate workaround. <laughs> if they said I can't bring a weapon, but I can bring a staff. I can't bring a selfie stick, but I can bring a staff. It's the ultimate workaround. Don't make me laugh anymore. We uh, Tolkien girl saying uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. The plot announces, but we we announced that a week or two ago. Adam Brown, Ori himself, Adam Brown will be in the new Pirates movie. It's supposedly about mm. uh, uh, the the child. Um, of of Will Turner trying to find his dad. We got a Skype call. Let's take oh, it. I love it. Yeah, take a Skype call. I'm getting texts on the hotline right now here. Hi, who's calling? Hello? Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Uh, Spirited Book here. Hey, what's up? Where are you calling from? Hey there. Uh, I'm calling from Canada. Nice. Excellent. Tell us about the yeah. Ottawa Comic Con. Do you know anything about oh. it? Excellent. Nice. Yeah, Excellent. It's May eighth uh, to tenth. Perfect. Well, well, we'll have to we'll check in on that and, and see what we can do because WonderCon's coming up as well here in Anaheim. Oh gosh, that's right around the corner. Um, so, Sweet. so what brings you to the show? What uh, what's on your uh, mind? I had, a, I had a question about the uh, moderation. Yep. Uh, I was hoping I could do that. Uh, how will we know if we have the uh, abilities to moderate and like what kind of like how do you plan to do all that? I uh, well, I, supposedly, again, uh, we're, we're, I'm meeting with YouTube on Thursday to get the rundown, but supposedly I'll be able to mo uh, 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 promote anybody that has a YouTube account. Um, uh, I'll be able to promote on Saturday uh, when they join the chat. I'll just click your name and make you moderator. And and then you can uh, then you'll be moderator. So I think that's how I think that's how technically it's going to work. Um, and uh, so yeah, uh, I'll be we'll be in touch. I think uh, I think I saw a tweet from you or something like that, or a couple people. Um, yeah, email. I yeah, guess. email. Um, so yeah, I'll be I'll be in touch with you, uh, and uh, and we'll figure it out on Saturday. So when you join the chat, um, I'll just see your name and know to 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 promote you to moderator. Yes. All right, sweet. And as far as, as far as like actual doing the work, I don't know. I've never moderated a YouTube chat, so I don't know what what the tools are. <laughs> well, now our general policy of Barliman's chat room is something I think that we should carry forward for keeping a family environment safe and sound, warm and dry for so all of the kids and all the families. Content? I'm sorry. G-rated content then. Absolutely G-rated. I'm the one who breaks my own rules by stumbling over the, uh, a cuss word every now and then. But, uh, I mean, I've been booted out of Barlamins myself. I have too. I have, for, for accidentally <laughs> using cuss words. Now, the best we can do is, you know, PG stuff like hell, you know, darn it, damn it, that's about it. But even those words, Barlamin would trigger someone and give them a warning. After a couple of warnings, they do get booted out of the room. Um, the interesting thing about this thing is that we're, you know, we are on at night, uh, you know, late at night, pretty much. On so the weekend, it's yeah. kind of torn after dark. 
it kind of uh, is. So we, I, you know, we'll be lenient. I I don't want I don't necessarily want to put the ban hammer on anybody, but you know, just if people start getting out of line, uh, you know, I don't mind the craziness of of like if you if people start posting posting ASCII art of of stuff like that's cool. That's I like fine, ASCII art. But I love I, that stuff. You know, I, uh, just but any know, if dirty there's stuff. any any trace of hate speech of any kind, racism, homophobia, uh, bigotry of any kind. They get banned immediately, faster than you can say "knife," which is an actual quote by Professor Tolkien. Right. Yes. So, uh, so we'll see you online on Saturday. Uh, yeah, that was kind of it. Yeah, dude, we appreciate that. Yeah, Got to say thank you ahead of time for you even wanting, wanting to prove again the axiom that I was talking about a little while ago. It's uh, a website, a community, built and maintained by the fans for the sake of the fans. Uh, well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. For sure. All right. Uh, can I can I just thank you guys because uh, for giving us all of this, uh, the fans of uh, Professor Tolkien, uh, all this uh, content and explaining. Because I personally have never read Silmarillion, and I've actually probably learned more than I ever would reading it. So uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, well, th- yeah, no problem. Thank you. You know, I've never yeah. read The Hobbit, so I, I, I learn <laughs> while I'm on the show. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Spirited Book, and really appreciate the good vibes. Thank you for that. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye for now. That's great. Do you you, know can, that you encourages can call and text me so us. much. 53064-FROTO. Good, good man, Charlie Brown. That encourages me a lot. Do you know what? We should do... Um, you know, so the Silmarillion for Dummies, a whole video series. I like that. We I should like do a idea. whole... But not for dummies, but for noobs. The Silmarillion for noobs, and we should go into as much detail as we want. We already did when we started talking about the yeah. the cinematic universe that we thought we could build from the components of the Quenta Silmarillion. We got a call on the hotline. Hi, who's calling? Hey, this is Tolkien Girl. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Tolkien Girl. Welcome. Hey, I'm good. How are you guys? Did you just say tisk tisk to me in the chat room? Why are you tisking me? Because you swear in Barlamans. I know. You know what? I'm just... You know what? Dottie, I'm a loner. I'm a rebel. (laughs) 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 Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Thank you. So what's going on? Uh, What what can we do for you? Um, Well, I was just wondering the same thing that uh, my friend uh, Spirited Book was wondering. Um... I'd love to mod for to mod for you guys for uh, the YouTube chat, but as you were saying, it's a little bit late uh, for us here in Canada. It would be from what eight thirty to like three in the morning. But yeah, are, if, are you on e- Eastern time? Uh, yeah, we are. And Toronto. Like, the Oscars are on a Sunday. The Oscars are on a Sunday, which is a school night for both of us. Right. So uh, we'd only be able to stick around to maybe ten. So our, 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 yeah. our, our party's not on Sunday night, it's Saturday night. Oh, it's on Saturday night, okay. Our, our party is the night before the Oscars, everybody. Okay. Put the date in your calendar, okay. put it on your Google <laughs> calendar, put it in your Apple iPhone calendar. The party is the 21st. Saturday at uh, yes. 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 so Eastern. doesn't that give you a chance to stay up a little bit later, maybe? Yes, yes it does. Um, you see, last year it was on the day of the Oscars. That's like right. Every other year it was. So. You, know, you know what we what, what we what we found is when when people uh, you know generously uh, uh, crowdfunded uh, the party, we kind of looked at it and then we ca- called around and realized we can get everything almost half price if we just do it the day before. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Saturday night is the party and the live stream. So yeah, I'll be in touch with you on uh, uh, over this week and we'll we'll uh, we'll figure it out and promote you uh, on the day on Saturday when you join the chat. I I could just right click your name and make moderator I think and uh and then uh yeah uh you can um you can wield uh wield the sword of truth the s- the yeah. vorpal blade of truth <laughs> yeah okay and so question for you what uh what are you most looking forward to seeing on the live stream um you know, I'm not really sure. I just kind of watch the live stream um, just to see, one, who's there, like, um, 
if there's anybody I know from the chat rooms or to like and other and to see kind of like um, how people are like dressed up because I absolutely love seeing other people dress up. I don't dress up myself at all, but I love seeing other people like cosplay and uh, but also um, just to see like it's kind of I can't be there, but watching it, it feels like it's enough. But um. Yeah, I get it. I, I get it. You know, that's one. I'm not really sure what I'm looking forward to because last year we had all the um, things on the stage going on, and I was watching that. And then I think I went to school the next morning, and the stream was still going, and I didn't know why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we, we've got two channels this time. It's going to be insane. I, I uh, really who, who knows what to expect. Uh, I'm, thr- I'm thrilled to be giving it a test drive. Do we get to give it a test drive I think before so. we do it? Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll schedule a quick little test drive on Friday yeah. before we use it on Saturday. <coughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right. Do you think we could? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Maybe. All right, we're getting other calls on the hotline, but right. thank you for calling. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good week. All right, you too. Great. Thanks for calling in, hon. Very good. This is it's so one. See what I mean? Like this is why the One Ring is all volunteers. Like we're all in this together, and mm-hmm. it, it, like all these conventions and stuff. Um, hey, now look. Here's Jeffrey. Jeffrey Lindsay, one of our great longtime companions and friends of the One Ring dot net. He shows up in great costumes. When we did the Lake Town Luau, great costume. Every, yes, every time very much so. He's at Comic Con or any event we're at. You can count on Jeffrey for a very good costume. Will the stream be archived on YouTube? That's the goal. Uh, again, we're beta testing this new multicam, uh, two channels at the same time. Hi, Duena. Uh, and you'll just be there. Just to be a box on screen, you can watch camera one or camera two. You can choose what to watch. So, uh, so hopefully it'll be on YouTube immediately. We got another phone call. Let's see who it is. Hi, who's calling? Family. Hello, Emily. How are you? Hello there. I'm fine, thanks. What's on your mind? Uh, well, I'll hopefully be watching the live stream for a bit. I mean, being 1.30 a.m., can't stay for too long, but I'll try and be there. I expect that you'll stay up all night. Once you start watching, you <laughs> won't want to stop. We'd, we'd better have an archive. I really hope we do. Oh, yeah. I hope that it's archived, because wa- what I can't watch, I'll definitely want to watch the next day. Yeah. I'll sit in bed on Sunday and I'll rewatch it. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, gosh, that'll be great. Sounds that'll great. Be great. What are you most looking forward to? Like, if you were if watching, I mean, of all the things that you know, we've got stage performances and the crazy cosplay and the Hillywoods and the Happy Hobbits and what, mm. what do you want to see most? I think what would be nice is if you picked out the very, very best of the costumes put them on stage and just showed everyone the best of the best. I like it. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I like it. It would be awesome to just see how amazing some people can get their costumes. That'd be, that's a great idea. I like this idea. Mm-hmm, I do. Will Billy be there? We don't know yet. Again, we've we've put the we've put invites out to everybody. Billy Boyd is currently scheduled to be in Cleveland for Cleveland Comic Con, but he's also scheduled to be on TV here in the states on the Reels channel. Uh, he's hosting an award show, but I don't know if it's live or if it was taped a week ago. I don't know. So Billy's going to be on TV. We know that he's trying to like uh, you know fulfill his duties in Cleveland and then maybe hop a quick flight over. I don't know. Hmm. That's a tough question. It would be great to have him here. Of course, he's he, he's such a wonderful friend to the site. A- answering a question that's in the chat room, will there be two windows for different channels of the live stream? Uh, two different chats. No, I don't think there'll be separate chats. I think it's just one chat. It'll be one chat, but we'll bring the two channels together, and we'll switch between A camera and B camera and bring them together. But I think it would sh- which should really be only one chat. Who, who, else, who, uh, who else would you like to see show up? Two people. I, I, I really, I. Who would I love to see? Two hmm. people. First name that came into your mind. Thorin. Richard Armitage. Who else? Thorin. Yes. Okay, you're gonna see Richard who Armitage. Who else? Who else? 
Wales, Richard Armitage and, and Hugo. Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving would that be, would be wonderful. wonderful. I would love to have Hugo Weaving. I've never event. met him. Richard and Hugo. I I just love to. I tell you what, at all all my years, maybe fifteen or sixteen years, I don't know how long, I've never met Hugo Weaving. Never, never. I've met Sean Bean. I've met Andy Circus. I've met, uh, I've met Richard Taylor and all the team at Weta. I've met everybody in between. I've met every single dwarf, and I've even met Tariel Stunt Double. I have met everybody, but I've never met oh, Mr. Weaving. Get, if, if Andy goes there, you. Definitely got to put him up on stage and make him do an, a golem impression. Oh, I'm sure he well, won't need to be asked. <laughs> yeah, that, that's his party piece. He's not going to miss that. All right, we're getting other calls on the hotline. Thanks for calling, Emily. Great speaking, and I will try my hardest to be in there for as long as I can on Saturday okay. night. Grab a Red Bull and stay up all night. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Good to hear from you today. Yep. Cheers. So good. Thank you for calling. Again, uh, 530-64-FRODO. Give us a text. Call us uh, or Skype us at the One Ring Net. Um, <laughs> Some spirited books. Are you making a joke? Who's Hugo again? <laughs> Hugo Weaving. He's the star Hugo, of Transformers, uh, uh, right? Hugo Weaving, the star of The Matrix. The That's star right, of V for Vendetta. That's right. The Transformers. The, the star of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. The star of... Oh, he was Red Skull. Uh, the star of Captain America. Yes, he was Red Skull. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we know him from. I know. Now, going back to my earlier statement that cross-dressing is always funny, go take a look at the original Australian comedy with Terrence Stamp and our very own Hugo Weaving. And before he did Memento, what's his name? Who? Nolan? Christopher Nolan's uh, boy who played in uh, Memento. Oh, the guy that's in the Alien movie? Yeah. Prometheus? Yes! Him. Anyways, go take a look at The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and tell me that Hugo Weaving doesn't have a great sense of humor, because he does. I would love to see Carl Urban, Sean Bean, Richard Benedict. Guy Pierce. Stephen, Thank you, Ellen. Thank Stephen you. Stephen Fry. Guy Martin Pierce. Freeman. Oh, man. Luke Evans. Didn't Luke Evans show up to our uh, pre-party in London uh, oh, gosh. for uh, the third Hobbit movie? Luke Re Evans did. He, he. Oh my gosh! He surprised Luke the fans. Evans. That'd be so great to see Luke. You Evans. know who's in L.A. right now? We've confirmed that he's coming. John Bell is in L.A. right now. Bard's son Bane. He's coming to the party. He's in L.A. right now, and he's geeking out at all the tourist things. He's going to the Chinese theater. He's been at the Hollywood sign in Griffith Park. Really? Yeah. John Bell's in town. How cool! Oh, I can't wait to uh, to meet him. I we should take him to the Magic Castle. Abs no, he's not legal. Well, we can take him to a Sunday brunch, and they have the all-ages family brunch. He can go then. Okay. And he can see so. some magic shows. If you say so. He can go to the family brunch on Sunday. It, you know? It's so wonderful. So You're right, all, though. He couldn't otherwise get in. <laughs> all, of our, uh, all, uh, all of the information will be... Uh, we just posted on the wandering.net. Go to the home page. There's a couple new posts. We've posted our, our menu, our food menu. There's going to be three. Because the the room the dining room isn't big enough for 500 people at once, we've got three shifts mm -hmm. of food. So uh, the, based on when you arrive is when you get your meal ticket. Um, so it's a full buffet situation. It's wonderful. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, j just the best food. You know, people still talk about the food we had last time. And, it's so good. And this one is just going to be uh, uh, just as good, if not better. Um, so the the food starts at 5:30. Um, we'll go th all the way to 8 p.m. and then the entertainment starts. And and um, you know we have uh, a special we have special surprises at the bar. I'm sure you've seen uh, some Hobbit brews uh, go viral on the internet. While well, they reached out and said, "How can we be involved?" Yum. Um, yes, we've got we saw some those. wonderful wine and and some. Oh, this is you know we're gonna drink like elves. Uh, it's gonna be great. Wood elves enjoy their wine, as as uh, Bilbo observed, and it didn't take long for now. Is there is there something of a an uh, something of um what do you call it a, um, a a continuity error where all these elves in Mirkwood get so drunk they pass out, and then Bilbo and the dwarves escape. And does that seem to be counter to? Legolas not having any effect from drinking all the mead and all the beer right. at the celebrations right. in the Two Towers Extended Edition in his little drinking game with Legolas. 
uh, and Gimli. I mean, it's, so did I miss something? Where some of the Wood Elves? We'll talk about. Well, we should maybe, talk about that on a di- on a different episode. Maybe just the wine, the wine that the Wood Elves were drinking, is a heck of a lot stronger than any beer or any brewski could ever be from Rohan. Question: When should we sh- when should we expect people to start showing up? The Probably an- four thirty or five. Four thirty or five. Yeah. The answer is Rohan has very weak beer. That's the answer. 4.30 or 5, Yes. Uh, people will start lining up in front of the American Legion on Highland Boulevard, uh, and then doors will be at uh, at uh, 5.30. And now, if you if, if you have passes, if you donated on our Indiegogo campaign or bought a PayPal ticket afterwards, your name and email are on the list. Uh, you may or may not have received uh, confirmation in the mail, but if you mm-hmm. made the donation, we've got your email, we've got your name. If your PayPal name... An email is different than you attending. Let's say it's your spouse's or your parents' uh, PayPal account, and you are the one coming. Please email us partyadmins at the one ring dot net. Let us know yes. if it's different. Like we've already got your name from PayPal and stuff like that. So if it's different than what's on your normal PayPal account. Uh, let us know so we can make that change and, and there won't be any hiccups at the door. Uh, and no gate crashing. You cannot buy a ticket. Uh, you can't buy a ticket at the door. We're done. Like it, It's a private party. Last week, at the time we got the information, last week there were a few tickets still available at the $100 level. They were the ones that don't include early admission or dinner or the two drink tickets. They just include access to the second half of the party where you'd come in for the music, the bands, and the variety show. That's right. So that was the case last week. I don't know if there's still any of those left at all. But it looks like we're sailing forward, second star to the right, straight on till morning. When we're will sailing right on towards this party. It's only a few days away. When will the card be given to PJ? Uh, well, the card, I believe, was sent to the printers this week. Uh, yes. So if he shows up, we should have it. Then well, I don't even see. know if he's in the country, though. No, I don't know that. But we, we do. Know. We do have Weta, Weta Workshop's uh, uh, postal address. So if uh, if we have to mail it to him, we'll mail it to him. Indeed. But everybody at the party will have a chance while they're there in person to sign it and to write a special message straight to the filmmaker himself. Uh, Cliff, are there any guests you know definitely will be attending? Uh, Emily, we definitely have confirmation. From William Kircher and his band. So there's our um, our dwarf who has an axe in his forehead. That's Biffer. Biffer is has no speaking lines. Confirmed. Okay. Uh, he does okay. in the first movie only. And then we have confirmed Sala Baker, who is uh, the Dark Lord Sauron himself. What other confirmations do we have besides those two cast members? John Bell. John Bell confirmed. Uh. uh who else? You, you know who crashed our party last time? Was uh, uh, Craig Parker and Dino Gorman. Craig Parker, Dino Gorman. You know what? I'm going to text Craig Parker in just a minute after the show is over. Um, do we have an email for North Runner so he can hand it off to Pippin? North Runner, you're going to be at the party, so you cannot moderate. He wants to I'm pass sorry. The, he wants to pass that email on to Pippin. I'm, uh, it, they he have just to wants be here. They have to be here. Pippin's I, not going to be here. Pippin's going to be one of our best I, moderators. I know. She has to be in the chat if she can't be in the chat. It, the party is at this time, at this exact time Yes. on Saturday. So if they yes. want if they want to moderate... Uh, that she, she knows how to get a hold. Good night, Tolkien girl. Thank you for joining us. On yeah, the thank you. We'll see you Saturday. Always lovely to see you. And um, Will there be a stream on the following Tuesday as usual? Yes. Uh, w- w- Torn Tuesday continues, and hopefully some of the oh, actors yes. uh, stay in town. And join us for a bit of mischief. Absolutely. Yeah, we should we should try to, 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 to get uh, to get a few people down to talk about how amazing the... Okay. Will Ralph Bakshi Pit- be there? No, I would love it. I would, I would love we, more than anything. We reached out. We for said... For Mr. Bakshi to we, come. We said, hey, c- c- if you're in town, c- come to the party. So Okay. Pete is not asking to get that email for his for his benefit. He's asking for Pippin's benefit. Pippin, you know, we know, we know. We know. We know. Pippin, we're going to get you the email address. And we'll get it to you in just a couple of minutes. All right? We're yes. Gonna, we're about to wrap up the show. Tweet at me. 
Tweet. Yeah, tweet at me if you want. If you can be a moderator. Pippin, do you use Twitter, and can you tweet directly to Justin's Big Idea? At Every, symbol, Justin's Big Idea. Uh, Joanna asks, uh, there will be two check-ins, uh, which perks are VIP. Everybody is regular. Every, everybody, uh, every, there's only one check-in. Uh, the, there are no VIP check-ins for any ticket holders. The, the second, the set, the, the second VIP check-in is is for actors and studio people that donated at the five thousand level and above. Thank you. That's right. So, so all the people that got free passes, I believe, uh, are wonderful contributors at Badali Jewelry. Um, uh, yes. Thank you, Hollywood. I don't know. I don't H- Hollywood Show is in the chat. Thank you, Hollywood Show. Thank you, Hannah Hollywood. and Hilly. Oh my gosh! Thank you for joining us in our live chat. This, they're gonna be so. It's gonna be so much fun. I have, I have a, I have a feeling that we should set up a kissing booth or something just to, what? Just, just, just because. Kelly, Happy Hobbit Kelly is gonna will punch people. She would. Happy <laughs> Hobbit Kelly would punch people, but me, <laughs> I think I'm the person who would like to be in the kissing booth. That way, I could have all the dwarf ladies, all the dwarf ladies dressed as dwarf men come up and kiss me. I could have Happy Hobbit come and punch me. I could have Hillywood sisters come and give me a good Las Vegas smack upside the head. You know, I I would love that. We should actually have the quick beam, quick like a bunny kissing booth. And you know what? I would only charge five yen. No one will come to another party. Just like you were dropping five yen at a Shinto shrine when you were visiting Tokyo. And I would promise to, uh, Help you with your studies and help you with your exams. A happy Hobbit perk <laughs> is normal entrance. Are you are you guys getting any this, of these jokes? That, so, uh, so questions in the chat room because uh, uh, so, some people bought a ticket, also donated it at other levels uh, to be part of of uh, uh, Happy Hobbit um, and, and other fun stuff. So uh, the answer is there. There's you're in the normal check in um, with er- uh, with everybody else. There's only one check in line. VIP check in is only for invited guests and studio people. Well, that's about right. So Warner yes. Brothers people, uh, any of the actor, all the actors that are generously coming from their various places in New Zealand, um, we've got to check in everybody. Like everyone's got to sign in. I, even you know, it, look if Elijah Wood shows up. Uh, he's got to check in, you know, no gate crashing. We have to know. And this is part of the fire marshal rule. We have to have an ac- accurate head count. We do. We need an accurate head yeah. count. It's very true. Um, let me just say for the record, before we wrap up the show. Yes. Um, this kilts are okay, by the way. We, oh yeah. Pe- pe- yes. People ask, there will be kilts. There will be multiple kilts. Kilts are okay, but you got you, It's got to be full on. You got to go full on. You can't just have a kilt and a t-shirt. You got to have the full thing with the thing and the thing on the thing we'll with see the you. thing and across the thing. That's funny. See you soon. Thank you for joining us, Hollywood. You have to leave. Every, some we'll people see you Saturday. Leave. We're so I'm excited. So excited. We'll hopefully get to chit chat with you on Friday before you guys get here. Um, wow, it's really happening. This party. If this I, party that we didn't think was really going to happen. If I really come as happening. bard, can I trade my way in? No, we don't want no stinky fish. No stinky fish. You can't get in. Remember that joke from um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire where one of the wizards is at the uh, Quidditch World Cup and one of the wizards is mistakenly wearing muggle clothing the wrong way. One of the other wizards has to explain to this old gentleman those are women's muggle clothing. You're not supposed to wear those. And he's like, what's wrong with this dress? I like to feel a bit of breeze in me privates. And I thought that was the funniest joke. Uh, and I love, I love J.K. Rowling anyways. And that always, remi- I'm reminded, every time someone wears a kilt, or someone's talking about Graham McTavish and his kilt, I don't know, I just think of that, that funny line from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I do remember. Um, this, this party is going to be great. No super, jeans. Super, super great. Did you guys g- get my costume about black, nice jeans? Who, who said no? No black, nice jeans. No it jeans. Is, question no about denim, cost, no jeans. costume if black, nice jeans. They better be covered. If your costume yes. inclu- it requires black, nice jeans. Uh, or it black has, leggings or it whatever. It has to be covered. Yes. Like, the, the jeans are not supposed to just be your regular no. clothing. This is a formal event. That means no denim, no sneakers. There's no, no sneaker jeans pimps. in Gondor. No, there's no, n- there's no casual 
dirty t-shirts and sweat leggings in gondola. Even uh, even no. if they're two hundred dollar no. jeans or or uh, uh, you know you ha it, they have to be covered. I'm looking forward to seeing you, Jeffrey Lindsay, in your new costume. Uh, it may be one you've worn before, but in any case, I uh, always loved your costumes. Were you guys nervous that this money wouldn't be raised? You, no. Uh, okay. You know, actually, it, we weren't too nervous because the th the great thing about crowdfunding on Kickstarter and Indiegogo is that, you know, we have, a, we have an idea, we know how to accomplish the idea, and we just put it to you, the fans, and we say... Hey, let's do this again, and yes. and it's up to you. It it was up to the fans whether they wanted to do it or not. So it it was kind of, you know, did we worked very hard, uh, you know, organizing all the different uh, wonderful rewards uh, that people got, signed stuff, wonderful donations from all of our, all, all our, our, our a huge network of people that generously donated their time and 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 rewards for it. Um, but were we nervous? Not oh, really. Nice. It was just kind of. We were more nervous when we hit our goal, and and then we looked at each other and said, well, <laughs> we, "I guess we got to do this." <laughs> yes, that that's truth. <laughs> that's when the nerves start kicking in. That's truth. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jeffrey, Lindsay, great one-liner, and I'll never forget it. We were just saying no jeans in Gondor. Yeah. Well, there's no gap in Rohan. That's ah! right. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. But if you have black the milk, gap of Rohan. If you're wearing black milk clothing, uh, Lord of the Rings dresses, yep. I think that counts. Yes. Yeah. If you're under a Nazgul costume and you're under all the cloak and the hood and everything, no one's gonna say anything about what jeans you're wearing. You're just in costume, right? Yes. Right. So that leads back to what he said. Your costume has to be, you know, covering the jeans so that you know. They don't look like you're wearing casual How, attire. Are there going to be any bad guys? There's obviously going to be people dressed up as dwarves and elves. Yes, there's a lot. There's there's multiple Smaugs uh, coming. Uh, there yeah. there yeah. are some Nazgul. There are there is at least one um, Sauron. And uh, multiple Smaugs coming. How multiple many? Smaugs coming. There was only one Benedict Cumberbatch. They're yeah. asking. They're asking who of the cast are coming. Who are the villains? No, no, they're for asking for cosplay. Oh, you mean cosplay? Okay. There will there there will be bad guys, and so I okay. I think there were there were there okay. was at least one person working on Azog. Uh, oh yeah. I would. Ooh. I would. And, That'd and, be cool. And I think we're gonna have a full size Lurts. Yeah. So. There, okay, the, I would the, love that. Sauron Oops. will be well represented here. <laughs> and and Isengard. Yes. A union of the two towers. And usually a Saruman shows up. There's, there's always good Saruman. There's two or three Gandalfs coming that there's we know of. really and, good Saruman and, there. So the two or three Gandalfs coming, and then I think there's a... Uh, I, there must be a, a Gandalf uh, uh, or Sar Saruman coming. Um, so, so this has been wonderful conversation. Been. We hope you we answered it. Any other questions that you have, please yes. go to our Facebook page uh, and go to the event page. Uh, not not just the One Ring Facebook, but go to the event page. You can find it on our Facebook page. And, there, and it, even uh, on our main website. Questions. Not that anybody goes there anymore, but on our main website, the OneRing.net, we also have direct links to the party subsite. Yes. That subsite is a thing of beauty and, and it has we're, lots everyone's of information. All the volunteer staff are paying attention to uh, all the questions and comments. And again, you can, e e you can email partyadmins at the OneRing.net. Uh, thank you for joining us. It's 2:21 a.m. here. Two, it, it, it's wonderful. We, this yes. time Saturday, we'll be dressed to the nines in Hollywood. Thank you, Scottish Strider. Thank you for staying up so late into the wee hours of the morning, and thank you to Emily and everybody else in the UK who stayed up late with us. So stay right here. the The live stream will be available at thewandering.net slash live. We'll also be on YouTube. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, you'll be notified when we go live. If, if, if you're there at the party and you see us for the first time and you've been with us in the live chat on all of our live shows, then find us and, and, and give a shout out and say who you are in the chat room so that we know that we're finally with our Torn Tuesday audience. That's, it'd be great to see you guys. Yes. Excellent, excellent show. Thank you for elucidating. Good sir. Thank you for elucidating all these details. You guys are wonderful. Take good care. In the meantime, travel safe, look out for yourselves, and we'll see you guys here in Los Angeles on Saturday. Yes. Now yes. i got to go over and press the off button. Oh, now you got to go over there and press the off button.
We do have such a great audience. You guys are awesome sauce. 